The video game industry is in a war right now, but not in the virtual world. United States Senator Maggie Hassan, for example, sent a letter to the Entertainment Software Rating Board, the organization that assigns age and content ratings to video games consumers, asking their body to review its age ratings policies on a specific type of in-game microtransaction called loot boxes. But wait, do you know exactly what a loot box is? Let's imagine, for example, that I am a character in a virtual action shooting video game. Before playing online, the gamer has the options to buy items that can give him a competitive edge. A loot box is one of those. It can be redeemed to receive randomized virtual items. Those items can be either good or not so good. Happy or unhappy with the result, the player has the options to buy another loot box, and this is being considered by many as gambling. Since 2017, countries like Belgium are already pushing towards loot boxes games, qualifying them as gambling. Here in the US, state lawmakers in Hawaii heavily criticized the Star Wars Battlefront franchise and recently introduced legislation to limit the implementation of electronic gambling systems. This game is a Star Wars themed online casino designed to lure kids into spending money. Uh, we're looking at legislation this coming year which could prohibit access or prohibit the sale of these games to folks who are underage. Gambling studies professor Dessa bergen Seco agrees those boxes are similar to other gambling activities. It does seem to have the same hallmarks if we look at the um, what we understand about the neuroscience of slot machine uh, video gaming. So it has seems to have the hallmark of both um, the video gaming addiction and slot machine gambling. She also thinks the age restriction proposed by the lawmakers is a good way to protect the players. I think they're proposing age 21 and above for access to loot boxes. It could be helpful because not only is it that individuals are now um, more aware of what they're engaging in, um, because we know that children uh, don't often know the consequences of the costs <laughs> associated with with some of these things. Rafael Freitas and CC News.